Imagine a life without cars. No parking hassles, no traffic, less pollution. That's the life people in Bordeaux, France have been living for the past six years. Leave your cars in your garage, use the modern ways of transportation as a tram, which doesn't make any pollution, and uh, it works. It's economic, clean. And that's exactly why a light rail system like Bordeaux's is so desirable. The city of Bordeaux has an extensive and modern public transportation system, which includes buses and trams. As of December 2007, the tram runs on three different lines, which are connected to 70 different bus lines. The overall bus and tram system combined sees about 300,000 passenger journeys every day. Out of those 300,000 people, about 165,000 people take the tram every day. A lot of young people, a lot of old people, you can see them. They see you, they don't uh, dare see you. It's interesting and, and it makes me laugh sometimes. But there's reasons why high speed and light rails like this one are still so unique. It has a cost, quality has a cost, huh? as a price. It may cost a pretty penny to build rail systems, but President Obama is definitely not ruling out the possibility of bringing more of this kind of transportation to America. Now, all of you know, this is not some fanciful pie-in-the-sky vision of the future. It is now. It is happening right now. It's been happening for decades. The problem is it's been happening elsewhere, not here. President Obama has already dedicated $8 billion to the strategic plan, and he's asking for another $5 billion over the next five years. Imagine whisking through towns at speeds over 100 miles an hour, walking only a few steps to public transportation, and ending up just blocks from your destination. While the idea of bringing more rail systems to America is circulating nationally, the thought of this type of transportation coming to North Florida isn't such a foreign one. Ten or fifteen years ago, the commissioners decided uh, that they wanted a feasibility conduct conducted, and it was prepared by the Florida Department of Transportation, and it was for a proposed light rail system in Gainesville. Before the light rail can be made possible, Gainesville needs to improve its bus system so it's similar to the bus lines that connect to the rail like those in Bordeaux. There are studies underway now to look at what it would take to implement bus rapid transit um, not only in the downtown and university area, but also to some extent in West Gainesville. Bus rapid transit operates more or less like a train with fewer stops, higher speed, and quicker loading and unloading. Eric Kareko, WUFT News.